When the kids are counting sheep When the kids go to sleep Dreams and memories When the kids go to sleep When the kids go to sleep When they go to sleep (laughs) (laughs) Here we are everybody, hello, welcome to the podcast WTKGTS, that's right, when the kids go to school or sleep we used For to soccer be soccer practice. Oh, there you go. Y'all, we got another well, S word. We can throw an S in the acronym now. <laughs> soccer and stuff. What? <laughs> I, almost, I almost put another you one in did. there. You did. Here we are at Maker Studios in Los Angeles, California, and we have a special, special guest. guest. One cool thing that, you know, has happened to us in doing this YouTube thing and moving out here to Los Angeles is we've been able to meet and work with real renaissance men like this this gentleman right here wow john yeah. huertas and you are dude i've read i was reading your bios this guy has done everything well yeah. tried everything <laughs> i've tried i haven't i haven't succeeded at everything i've well, tried everything so i think keep trying yeah i think you know you have a certain time of you know you have a certain time on this planet so you might as well like, try to stuff as much stuff into your right. time as possible okay so <laughs> Yeah, let me, where did that, let me, I should just read that. I feel like you and Shay are very similar. Shay is, his whole life is like, I'm going to do this. No, I'm going to do this. No, now I want to do this. So let me ask you that. So so you think that's a, I think maybe, I don't know if that's a a downfall. I think it's a good thing. Right, but like how. I don't know. I guess it could be a downfall where you don't focus on it. So let's just, let's just build it out like this. John has acted in um, many things. If you look up his Wikipedia, he's been in, you've been on stage, you've musically performed on stage. Mm -hmm. Uh, You've been on TV, Mm -hmm. you know, you're on Castle right now. You've been in movies. You've been in a, uh, in a, uh, what's his name? Movie, uh, Uh, the director who's really famous. (laughs) Oh, uh, Woody Allen. Woody Allen film. He's been in a Woody Allen film. But uh, Woody didn't direct that. It was actually directed by Alfonso Arau. Woody was just uh, the star. Oh, wow. It's one of like, it's, so I think I was actually part of uh, uh, one of the rarest things yeah. that happens. Woody Allen usually I, doesn't do a movie yeah. unless he's directing. So That's um, interesting. I'm not going to say how good the movie was. <laughs> <laughs> and then here's another interesting thing. Served in the armed forces for eight years. Yeah, I was in the Air Force for eight years. And then, uh, and that, you know, I, actually the Air Force uh, gave me uh, a great education. I, I was able to, you know, pursue an education um, as well as, you know, gave me... Um, uh, skills that I used to kind of like you know get into uh, acting as far as you know having discipline initiative and um, you know learning how to you know basically have responsibility at such a young age you you kind of when you move out here and you don't know anybody you're responsible for yourself and right. responsible for getting your career started so you know that was a, a great part of my life and then you know I've been here now for almost uh, 17 18 years in LA I dude yeah. I didn't know it was the Air Force my grandpa was a colonel in the Air Force oh wow yeah oh. he was uh, at uh, Laughlin Air Force Base was a colonel of Oh, that. very cool. And he has, he flew the F-100, he says. Wow, he that's an old me. plane. Right? Yeah, mm-hmm. he has like 2,800, I don't know, he has all these stories. He's dead now, but. I just had an opportunity to fly in an F-18A. No uh, way. Super Hornet from the uh, United States Navy. It was a uh, Blue Angels flight last week. Yeah. In New York, yeah. Cool. I, and, I, and I filmed, uh, uh, you know, it's basically going to be another day in the life. And I filmed, like, had a camera inside the cockpit. Uh, watching me pull G's and all this stuff and, and uh, do the hick maneuver. Almost awesome. pass out. <laughs> yeah. So what is where does that stem from then? I mean, what? Why are you so willing to get out there and do so much stuff and and try so many things? Like, what do you think it stems from? Is it just your personality? Is it nature versus nurture? Like, where does it come from? Uh, I think it's because most of, people can't do that. Like, like yeah. I look at like your bio and I'm like, holy crap, this dude has done some stuff. Like he's experienced. You're you're a musician. You've been in the army. You're an actor. It's like, what is it? Where does it come from? I think it's a. I've always been adventurous, even when I was a little kid. Like sometimes, uh, when I was a little kid, the other kids in the neighborhood would sometimes come to the house to knock on the door and see if I'd come out and play. And I would literally like already have my own plan for that day, mm. and I would hide <laughs> from them as if they were like you know Jehovah's Witness or something. <laughs> I would get behind the bed, and these kids were crazy. They were they were a little ruthless. They would like look through the window. I would see them looking Where through the window. Are you, I know John? he's in there. John, come play uh, with us. And then, and so I would hide from them, and then I would go off and do my own adventure. I was like, would try to come up with adventures, and I would go off and try to. And they uh, were just like hindering you, basically. Yeah, they were getting in the way of my adventures. And so, <laughs> so you know, growing up, I think I continued to. I was, you know, I like to be adventurous. I like to try new things and do new things and uh, either succeed or fail. Right. And you know, or I mean, I, I guess. You never really fail if you've tried something. Yeah, you gain you, an experience. Yeah, you gain you gain an experience. You know, not not you, maybe you're not great at it and you don't continue it, but I don't think you fail. 
Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, definitely not failing. So speaking of doing everything, uh, you're on YouTube now. <laughs> I'm on YouTube. So tell me about that. Coming from this background, I mean, you are on TV. You are a TV star on ABC mm-hmm. that is, you know, still happening. So why are you doing YouTube? You've made it, dude. Why do you want to do YouTube? Well, you know, when you work on a television show or a movie, uh, you know, you're usually doing usually doing someone else's work. You're 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 someone else wrote the script. Someone else is directing it. Someone else is producing it. So. Um, when you, you know, having a YouTube channel allows me to do my own thing, to create my own content and, and see if I'm creative, uh, yeah. see if anybody's interested in what I have to say or what I have to do. And yeah. I think, uh, it gives me the freedom to do that. And now, you know, it's the, the internet has changed so much in the last, um, 17 years since I got into this business. I didn't even use the internet when I first right. moved here. I right. Mean, right. I hated computers, actually. Uh, <laughs> so now, you know, it's like, you know, the, the amount of people you can reach oh, yeah. um, is, is exponential. So, um, you know, I think it's, uh, it's very, it's, it's so gratifying to, to put something up and have people comment on it and say they like it. Some people might not like it, but... But you, you can know. create whatever you right. want. That's the thing. You can wake up and have your own little adventure and ignore those stupid kids that are knocking on the window <laughs> and then go out and create whatever you want yeah. and you don't have anybody in the way telling you what to do or to create and you can yeah. make that project and i put my adventure on youtube yeah. right and what i found really interesting with it is like your work on castle is obviously you know it's detective like you're serious and then your youtube stuff has been funny it's comedy <laughs> <laughs> but you're funny on castle though too you know, right. you have yeah, some, sometimes you have some one-liners on there yeah. uh, what are you gonna lip gloss her to death I mean, right that's, that's a good one-liner yeah i mean yeah there, there's a lot of funny bits on castle and it's not the season finale of course but um yeah we, you know i try to uh we try to come up with funny bits and, and trying to keep Castle interesting and different from the other procedurals. Um, but this allows me to just be as goofy as I want to be. You right. know? So, so I have a question. You, Go ahead. Okay. I was going to say, would you call yourself like a comedian? Like I would, an in no. the closet comedian? <laughs> no, I think comedians, I, you know, I've done stand-up comedy. Uh, I, have, I have done that and I never could call myself a comedian because comedians actually have a life, it's a life that they've cho- chosen and they, yeah. they're in like a comedy club every single yeah. night. So when I, right. when I tried to do stand-up um, back in the day and, you know, I had a couple of uh, friends that did it and I had a room that I, we actually put together and, and I would get up there and, uh, you know, I would I would do okay. I would do pretty good. I'd make people laugh, but then people would say, "Okay, tomorrow night, you know, you should go to Laugh Factory, or you should do a, a night at the Comedy Store, or you know, you know, Ice House, all these places, and they're all over town. So yeah. you're driving. So these comedians are driving like all these different clubs. And there's and like they, 50 people right. in the room. You oh know yeah, what I mean that's that's a lot of work. You know, you get on YouTube and you can have thousands of people see this. Exactly. You know so I wouldn't call myself a comedian, but um, you know, I do like. I think most people I. Th- think like to enjoy making people laugh mm-hmm. yeah. because uh you know i think that's one of the most infectious emotions is is a uh, laughter or not well you know being Smiling happy and, yeah. Yeah. and humor i think if you call yourself a comedian you like you better be funny you know what i mean like <laughs> i'm a comedian and that's you yeah. know comedians usually are tortured i feel like in their mind like they're yeah a lot i don't of know the that's times- true for everybody but you, you like some of the really good comedians you can tell if like had some issues in their past and oh yeah uh, you know what i'm saying and, and it's they, like therapy when they go up on stage yeah exactly. they're putting all their ugly stuff out there yeah mm-hmm. right people laugh at it so here's my question i was thinking about this morning you're on castle you you know you're affiliated with abc mm-hmm. you we i just uh we watched our video again from when i got to go i got to go to set and see <laughs> a real tv show how do they feel about your online stuff because i know right. like i've had a few interactions with tv like we've had some reality show like possibilities like TLC wanted to pitch us as a reality show and stuff and we've always just kind of said no because they wanted to take away some of our freedom online they wanted us to delete some things and like private some stuff and I'm just like I would never do that right. how are they now with you like you know shooting on set and like it was cool like we got to come to set and everything yeah well what I do is uh, you know I kind of I don't really film uh you know I definitely you don't give don't, away the storyline yeah I don't yeah. film I don't film while we're filming I don't f- well except for this right one. Well, <laughs> I, I want to I watched like, this like four times this morning Denise put this up did John wear to steal a kiss from Stanic, how do you pronounce it? Stana Cottage. That's a that's a tongue twister. Play. Let's watch this real quick. <laughs> it's twenty two seconds. And I was asking Colette. Oh my heck, fire and darnation! You got a pre roll ad on your video, John. You sell out. <laughs> Holla. What did that's I want to make that money? That's how I make the YouTube money. Okay, play now. Did he say anything about being threatened or scared? Uh, well, he said it was it was a white Mustang, and that uh, that he was interested in the blue butterfly as well. <laughs> oh yeah. 
Oh my God. Yeah, give me some. Give me some. So uh, what happened there? Were you like going to whisper? Were you supposed to whisper something or? Yeah, I was. Uh, I was gonna. You know, the the suspect who was played by Patrick Cassidy who was one of the Cassidy brothers, Sean Cassidy's brother. No way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, so that was super exciting. That's yeah. what's really exciting about Castle is that you get to work with so many great different people. people that you're. You know, that you've kind of grown up with or something. So um. So I was. So Patrick Cassidy's uh, giving us some information there, and uh, you know, I went to lean in like I'm gonna say something about what he said and you know just give a little <laughs> smoochy smoochy little lip smack there <laughs> so that's I, and then you go like this you're like I thought this. she was gonna smack me right oh is that right oh, I'm like okay. did he hurt his nose and she was like I think he was like why did I do that why did I do that yeah, and she so just that's, like that. so <laughs> yeah. that's just how she reacted huh that was her natural reaction yeah I mean I get that from a lot of ladies <laughs> Collect naturally. <laughs> Keep naturally. your distance, young lady. <laughs> Keep your distance. I'll try. Okay, so John. Yeah, but uh, so, so I, I don't film. I don't film the. Uh, I don't film what we're filming. I, I, you know, that that was all just. Um, we made that up. It was, you know, we were on right. set. Yeah. We, we made that up, and uh, so I don't film what we're filming. I don't film film the other actors unless there's I have permission. Um, and I, I don't film other people unless we have permission. So I, I keep it kind of separate from right. Castle. And I try to most of the stuff I do is like around my trailer and yeah. you know on the uh, on, on the outside of the okay. stage. So so they I really haven't had any conversations with ABC about my YouTube channel about that. So what do you think your your co workers think about it are they just like oh it's john's thing it's no i think they think it's really they think it's great they think it's funny seamus has participated with me so astana nathan wanted to uh nathan has tweet nathan tweeted my arm wrestling oh, nice. video he thought it was really funny yeah. so he he tweeted that nathan Fillion, who who ally is a huge fan of she does not <laughs> want me like, to say cut. that Stop. when we Don't came when we came on set that day she was like when all of you guys were there, she was freaking out. <laughs> look at her face. It's well, getting so, so red, red right red. now. <laughs> You're beautiful, honey. You look embarrassed. Are you embarrassed? <laughs> Anyways. No, no, not at all. No, not at all. It, I, was t- I was cool as a cucumber. Yeah, we could tell. Cucumber. Just a little sun. A red, <laughs> a red bell pepper cucumber. So here's what I was going to say is I think that, you know, ABC and NBC and all these TV, they need, the, I think they will slowly realize that you are going to add a ton of value to that show because you're, you're garnering all these new fans on this different you know stage and then you're gonna bring them to your show on ABC when I was I was in one episode I was on TV one time on no ordinary family and our episode that episode jumped 20% from all the other episodes because our audience went and watched that episode oh wow cool and on TV where you yeah. know a lot of those people don't usually watch TV anymore right. because they're on the internet exactly so I think these TV executives need to realize well our buddy Brett the intern just went on NBC's uh, reality show escape routes mm-hmm. and I just saw a huge write up on that how that is going to revolutionize the way they do reality shows from now on because of the interactivity right. that whole time during that show people were tweeting and Facebooking and making right. YouTube videos responding and, and interacting with them on these contests on the reality show right. and NBC realized this and is like holy crap this interactivity is super valuable and I think they're realizing that and they're going to encourage it more. And yeah. I think right. you're just ahead of the curve. Well, yeah. And I think there are, there are a couple of networks out there that are um, kind of like riding, riding, you know, the wave of the, of the internet and, uh, and, and the value of, of YouTube. Listen, uh, listen, the sooner, the sooner you, you <laughs> drop in on that wave, the better, bros. I'm just telling true, you It's true. It's true. And I hope that ABC does, is, and will. Um, uh, they do, we do like, you know, they do encourage us to like live tweet during episodes. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, you know, but you know, that's, that's, you know, so some of us have done that, but as far as the YouTube thing, I don't think they've really, um, uh, maybe latched onto that quite yet. Cause it's still pretty new to, oh, yeah. to networks. I mean, it's still a very traditional way of making television the way that we do it on the big three. Right. So, um, hopefully they... They uh, they see the value in it. Little by can, little, we can start um, you know utilizing it and having a, you know so many viewers that are on online now. Totally. Right. So let's talk about our upcoming web series, John. Woohoo! Yes, sir. <laughs> Dude, so here's you 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 really should just be called the Renaissance Man. Because the just, Renaissance I'm gonna change my YouTube. Man. Yeah, to Renaissance, Renaissance, Renaissance Man. So we have uh, John has a, a series coming out. Uh, can we talk about it? Sure. Is that cool? So yeah. why don't you introduce it? Uh, well, the show we shot a pilot. Um, it's called El Gato Blanco. Um, the White it, Tiger, right? The White Tiger. Well, <laughs> it's not really the White Tiger. It's a white cat. White cat. Meow. <laughs> but it looks like a white. It is a tigerish type of thing, though. It's um, a, it's a, but it's uh, El Gato Blanco, and uh, it's um, it's it's a superhero based show and uh shay you play the the villain one of the villains in it but the the main the villain will see most and then um colette uh you're playing the best friend to the lead girl okay 
So I wanted to. I wanted to make. I sure forgot to tell you about that. Rock by the way, roll. you didn't know that. <laughs> no. Yeah. She does what I tell I, her. No, yeah. You, you're, you're, you're playing I the accept. best friend. You're, you're the you're the really cute best friend who's gonna uh, be very important once the show uh, goes further. He's got it mapped out. You so might get, you might the get to, really cute you might best get to friend. Fight. Notice how he said that. Yeah. <laughs> you might get to fight. Yes. She can fight. She yeah. can fight. So, can have you have you showed your costume for this yet? Have you sh- put that out anywhere? I haven't put that out anywhere. I mean, there's a little bit of it you can see in our episode in your trailer, like behind you. Yeah, you see the clay sculpt. Yeah. Uh, so I sculpted that in the trailer, and then and then, but now we've we've now molded that into a silicone, full head like you know head cow. You know, shoulder it's like cow it's like imagine you know, kind thing. of like you know Michael Jackson's Thriller when he's like turns into the werewolf. That's kind of like in a sense what John. Yeah, is. Yeah, it's like a, he's like a were tiger, were t- a were cat. <laughs> 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 so I've been I've been doing YouTube now for you know four years, and wow. we've we've done some you know like some real you know productions with makeup and stuff. But I'm telling you what, like this makeup that you know it's a full thing he has contacts there's like injections teeth. Teeth. injections like they, they injected like real I don't whiskers know what he's about. oh yeah yeah <laughs> the thing like real whiskers are coming out punched and they call it punched. hair punching dude you don't oh. know what you're talking about listen it's called <laughs> anyway knows everything john, knows what he's talking about. john molded this thing by himself like he didn't tell him that story he went to a molder and said okay here's what i'm looking for and the guy's like what and john's like oh kind of like this and then he just built it on his own well yeah i went to a sculptor i went to a, i went to a special effects place and uh, I, they hired a sculptor you know i guess a, i don't know the, the sculpting world he's a well-known sculptor in tv film but he don't just, say you know, his name now because i won't i don't <laughs> remember, remember his name but um he uh he you know, he, he was trying to, you know, from my mouth and what I was saying to him, and I had some reference photos of tigers and this and that, and, and he, he wasn't getting it quite right as far as, like, what I was looking for. So finally he got a little frustrated and said, why don't you sit down, take the clay, put it where you want to put it, and then I'll, like, fine-tune it and make it look, you know, real. So I sat down. I never sculpted because when I was a kid I used to draw, mm. and I thought I was pretty good. Uh, but then I got a little older like in high school and I found out I sucked as, a, <laughs> as, an, as an artist like drawing you know I like I said try everything not always good at right um, so I thought that the next level from from drawing or painting was sculpt I thought it was like you know drawing then painting or you can draw you can paint then you can sculpt right that's like the you know that's the kind of the, the steps natural progression of, yeah. of art I had never thought I could sculpt so I, I but I sat down and like literally two hours later because I got so into it it was so relaxing two hours later I was like yeah something like that and it was the, the sculptor was looking at me like, "Why don't you just do it?" <laughs> I was like, "Nah." So then, I, but then I let him. I let him go with it, and then he, things would change, and uh, I would I would not like what what changed, and so I would change it back, and then he would. So finally, I just decided I scrapped that. Like, get and, out of the way. Let me do it. Let me well, show yeah, you. And I got my own. Li- I got my own life cast. I took it to my trailer, and I just started with my own clay and 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 sculpted it at work between scenes and yeah. stuff like that. So um. That's you know that that's what I did and I sculpted it and then I went to uh, autonomous special effects makeup. Um, this guy Jason Collins who works on our show Castle sometimes owns this special effects company, uh, makeup effects company, and uh, we you know in his shop I molded it uh, with this guy Richie Elson who's um, you know used to work on our show and now he's uh, becoming a special effects artist hopefully and he uh, he and I like basically on the job training OJT right. learned how to uh, in, you know. Use a, use my 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 live cast as a core and make a fiberglass mold of the clay. Get rid of the clay and then use silicone. Pour it in there. Pour up a silicone mask basically. Um, and then uh, I had a guy paint it. Yeah. Um, and I had a, a girl punch the hair and boom. Wow. It's done. Alberto Blanco. Is the, and so this is. Easy I mean, you can just, that. it's legit. <laughs> Too legit. So when is this? When are we releasing this, bro? And it's an action comedy. I, I want to release it uh, the week of June. 26th, I think we have VidCon. VidCon. Mm-hmm. Video com- conference. 10,000 of you fine folk will be there. Oh, my and, goodness. Uh, yeah. Can I just say? I want to ah! premiere, I wanna premiere gonna, it for That's that. great. That's great. That'd okay, awesome. so if you're going to be at VidCon, you will... Oh, I'm excited. That'll be yeah. sweet. That'll be perfect. And you, you were great. You were very funny. Is it okay? I, I, I wanna, think you were I think you were good. You were really great. This uh, is like real acting, and I'm not an actor. <laughs> like, I, <clears throat> I've done acting because I'm in YouTube and we make these things, but, like, I've never had any acting experience. And like a script, reading a script, right, and all learning that. the lines, so it's, getting directed. It's, it's been learning. Me yelling at you, not like that, like this. So here's another thing that I've learned about acting since coming out and moving to LA and doing a few of it is it's like the military in the terms where it's like hurry up and wait, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like 
you think the acting's all glorious and stuff. You stand around a lot. Stand around, sit around. You yeah. know, they got to move the lights. They got to move the camera. And that was one of, we have, you know, your millions of fans are attacking us on Twitter. One of the questions is, what do you do on your off time on Castle? Well, he molds. He molds. He molds tigers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's his new found favorite thing to do. I do. Uh, I, and I, I like to be creative. Right now I'm making a new, uh, a new suit. Which will be really? in the, which will be in the second episode. That's where we meet. So do you? That's sew? where we meet your character too. <laughs> do you tailor? Are you a tailor I'm not as actually, well? I'm not sewing it. I'm because I have this hem right here that really it could. <laughs> oh, I could just take care of that. Stitch that up. Um, no, I, I'm actually. This is not. It's not uh, sewing. It's um. I'm mo- I'm actually molding uh pieces of plastic. Oh, like uh, superheroes. Like that. Yeah, it's a. It's a kind of a uh, superhero. It's a. It's a superhero costume. That you're going to add to his? Or yeah, is it add different? To it. Yeah, the crazy. first costume was like something that, that uh, the character kind of threw together. Um, so now he's going to get more and serious. And like, you know, after the first fight that he had with this really tough guy, mm-hmm. he's like, oh, I need a new suit, man. Something it's a little like Spider-Man. more armor. Yeah. Oh, And he had the sweater. Right. And then he was like, oh, no, I have to, I have to make it a really kinda, awesome it's suit. It's kind of like Spider-Man, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Plus, yeah. you just wanted to build some cool stuff, I wanted too. to build some cool stuff. <laughs> but I had more time this time. Yeah. So uh, that's coming out, and then I love you do this day in the life thing. Uh, me and John, we got another tweet of somebody telling us that we should arm wrestle. Another one. So I think we're, uh, yeah. you know I'm gonna be I'm gonna be going out to Santa Monica to do some Le- more training. Denise, put the link right here. This yeah. is a great video. I'm gonna go out to Santa Monica do some more training. So if you want to come out, um, I'm be- I'll be do there training <laughs> with me. I'll be out there uh, setting up my arm wrestling stand. You know what I think I'm gonna do though, John? What's that? Is you know you you got your little arm wrestling stand in Santa Monica. Good for you. I'm gonna set up a leg wrestling booth right next to your arm wrestling stand. Really? And I think we'll just compete. We'll just see who can get more wrestlers on sta- on scene. Leg wrestling. Leg wrestling, arm wrestling. I'll use my leg and you can use your arm. And we'll see who comes out better in the end, my friend. All right. And it will be that great seems unfair. video. <laughs> Call it, bring a wheelchair. <laughs> bring okay. Case. He's going to hurt me. <laughs> and speaking of hurting me, uh, we have another video that we want to work on. Uh, you're good friends with Boss Rutten. Well, yeah, we've we've become friends. Uh, I, I worked on, I went on a show that he has on HDNet uh, called Inside MMA, and I had... I've been a fan of Boz Rutten's, I mean, since he Let's was in the UFC. Let's just say this. Give, give, give them Boz Rutten's stats. Undefeated. Undefeated heavyweight champion only. Of the, uh, in the UFC. Yeah. Like he, only undefeated heavyweight champion ever. In the UFC. Wow. Yeah, so he um, he uh, has a show. I went on the show and, and uh, we talked MMA. And uh, I, like I said, I've been a fan of his since, you know, the, when, he, when he was in the UFC. And then when we shot Generation Kill over in Africa, um, he's got these workouts that he that he puts together on on uh, on you know MP3 or d- CD or whatever DVD and it's basically like he's taking you through this intensive uh, workout that's uh, that's a, it's all these combinations that he comes up with you know like, like j- fighting yeah yeah like a like a you know one one through four combination elbows knees uh, sprawling um, all this stuff that and it's an intense workout nobody you can't you can't imagine how much you sweat right. and strength right. and training and and you can do it on a heavy bag I used to do it on a heavy bag but he's got this new new thing uh, it's called the BAS uh, system it's like this training dummy thing that he's gonna he's gonna hook me up with and we're gonna so I can train with it but yeah we've become friends I'm going to train with him I think on Thursday cool, um, but yeah if you I think I think he'd be really interested in doing this next video that, that you want to do yeah so we started out talking Sounds about cool. doing a Shay loss thing where we were gonna do some MMA fighting for a Shay loss video but then I don't want to give it away what we're gonna do but then we had this other idea for kind of like a produced skit video uh, with John and, and some other people and then he told me he knew Boss Root and I'm like dude I got this video that we're working on and so that will be really really exciting that'll be yeah that'll be cool I'm excited to have him punch me in the face Yeah, and um, I get to be in that one too huh you're gonna have to wear a bikini is that cool um no <laughs> no you don't do she's, she the ring girl she don't thing. she don't do the bikini you thing you don't do the bikini only no. for daddy tard <laughs> <laughs> you pervert oh the snap oh snap <laughs> All I'm right, gonna to, I'm gonna have to change that scene in that. Oh man! Then. <laughs> so we have a few more uh, Twitter questions. Twitter questions. Twitter questions. Oh, here, Twitter. Here's the here's the best Twitter question that I wanted to ask you, John. What's uh, that? Katie O'Donnell asked. Katie John, O'Donnell, how are you? John Huertas, can Shay and Colette be on Castle next season as a Mormon serial killer duo? Please, please, please. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> it's possible. Uh, I, I, you know, that's I, I can't really. I don't have yeah, you're, a lot you're not of the casting director. Yeah, I don't have a lot of pull when it comes to who's on the show. Dang it! Uh, and what the characters are. Here's but. a real question from Tim Chip. He asks, uh, "How much of Espita es, Esposo is John, and how much is the writer?" That's Espo. Espo. Sorry. Like, was he always <laughs> a vet, or did you bring that to him? Yes. Uh, 
uh, Esposito uh, is a vet. Yes, I, and you I, are too. I actually brought that to to the table. I thought it would be an, an interesting dynamic for the character to uh, to have him be a vet. You know, um, a lot of a lot of shows. I think um, well before Hollywood never they didn't include um, except for like Jag and stuff like that, of course. But you know, I, you don't see you know a lot. You see a lot of people as um, as active duty. Right. Uh, uh, military guys like NCIS, JAG, um, NCIS LA. But, um, I, you know, I always want to try to get, you know, the veteran, also represent the veteran, the guys who, who did their time and are now separated or retired. And, uh, you know, to show how uh, a lot of these guys have a, you know, have a pretty successful uh, transition. After. After the military. Started. You know, mm-hmm. a lot of people think, you know, the, right now the, the um, what's going on, there are a lot of veterans who are, you know, are suffering from PTSD yeah. or, you know, they're coming back home and there aren't jobs out there like there used to be. You know, there's, you know, employment rate's still up, up there kind of high. So um, I think a lot of uh, the general public and, and, and uh, people who aren't too familiar with military think that a lot of veterans are, are having a hard, or, I mean, that most veterans are having a hard time transitioning when there are actual veterans that are doing very well. Um, a lot of times, veterans have a better, uh, ch- a better, a, a better time transitioning than college students do. Even, even though college students haven't, you know, gone and, and served in sustained combat uh, and, and stuff like that. But I believe that. Yeah. But absolutely. a lot of people want to hire veterans right. because they have a certain uh, level of discipline. They have a certain experience, a world experience, and they have a certain maturity level that uh, they say a college student does. And these veterans are also. A lot of these veterans are educated, or they when they get out of the military, they, they take advantage of the education that the military's provided for them, or giving them the GI Bill, and then they uh, are able to you know get into the workforce and be very yeah. successful. So. so that is, I mean, I think that's something very worthwhile talking about because you know I think I just heard you know to take a a sad stat that more lives have been lost by the by their own hands than in the actual conflict over in. Iraq because of suicide is that uh you know I'm not sure of the exact numbers but I do, the suicide rate has been uh, higher after this conflict than than any other conflict I so uh, so how do you how do you oh five minutes <laughs> oh, five minutes. Uh, oh wow we got into a huge topic and they're telling us we have five minutes so yeah I think that's very important to to make mention of is that, that yeah there are a lot of good men and women are coming back from the military who are serving you know in different capacities and I would want I would definitely hire a, right. a military the person, of discipline yeah, and because it's just you, experience, experience, life experience, not necessarily job related experience, but life experience yeah. in general, right? Because I mean, that's if you're in the military, you, I think you're really like forced to think about what really matters in life, right? You know what I mean? Because in you're in college, it's like let's drink and da da, but when you're in the military, it's like what's really important because I could die, you know. So I think you're forced to kind of like look at yourself in a way where it's like, what do I want my life to be like? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I've never been in the military, but we I was from a military family. Like I said, my grandpa was in the Air Force. My dad served for 12 years in the in the reserves. But uh, I just something that scares me is is thinking about that is going to war. Like that is just terrifying and the bravery of those men and women is amazing mm-hmm. and you as well. So mm-hmm. Thanks for that. Uh Got okay. another question? Yes, we had another. Oh, where did all these tweetsters go? <laughs> tweetsters, tweetsters. So be sure you guys to follow John. He has a Twitter and a YouTube, and we'll like always. We'll leave all of his links below, and you can mm-hmm. check him out on Castle. So tell us about that. Like what? Finish. Like what? Uh, how many seasons yes, you guys did, now? How did it? you get into that? In, uh, in, into uh, On the Castle? Yeah. Or, um, well, I got On the Castle. Uh, basically, we'd just come back from filming uh, Generation Kill mm-hmm. uh, in Africa. And, uh, uh, you know, the, the economy was down. There were some, we just got, had a writer's strike in Hollywood. Right. So there, were, you know, there weren't a ton of shows out there. And, uh, but I, got, I went in and I met with uh, the producers. And they, uh, I thought that I messed up, actually. I, I went, really? I went, yeah, I had my manager call and apologize to them. Oh, no. <laughs> for wasting their time. I said, I, had them, I said, please call them and apologize Why? For, for wasting their time. Because I thought I sucked. Oh my and, gosh. Uh, uh, yeah. And then uh, when my manager called me back and she, you know, she said, hey, uh, you know, I called them. I was like, yeah, what they say? I'm so sorry. They were like, uh, they don't know what you're talking about. They, <laughs> they want you to come <laughs> in and do the You part. have the job. And I'm like, what? That's awesome. So, um, yeah, thank you, uh, Andrew Marlow. Um, so, uh, yeah, Rob Bowman. So, you know, they, um, they hired me. It was, you know, it's been, been four seasons now and yeah. we're going into fifth season. Uh, we start here in July. And, right. um, yeah, it's, we're, I, Feel really lucky. Um, we have a great, amazing audience, a great fan base. They're uh, super loyal, super. Uh, you know, they're they're 
not only are they are they great fans, but they're also creative. They, you know, they because I can interact with them on Twitter now. You can yeah. see so much. You know, so, so many people out there are are creative. They're funny. They're um. You know, it's, it's you get a lot of inspiration from them. Totally, I right. don't you love when you get those tweets where like, oh, that was really genuinely like smart and funny. Like, yeah, th- those are the people you want to reply to. Th- that's another question because you've been acting and been in Hollywood for a long time. This mm-hmm. is different for you now, like where you can see uh, people are. I mean, did you ever have that that feedback before? Never. From, you know, no, what I mean, from people who watch you your do, stuff. Only when you do theater. You know, theater, the audience right. is right there, so you know exactly Clapper, what they're. Yeah. You know, you know what they're feeling, what they're doing in that in in whatever moments, and and then afterwards, sometimes they wait for you at the, outside the stage door and they tell you, you know, hey, great job. But in TV film, you know, you film it, doesn't come out, doesn't release till, you know, forever. You know, if it's, yeah, if it's a television show, it doesn't release for a couple of weeks, and then, um, you know, you never really see or talk to that audience unless you've gone and done like maybe appearances, which is I never did that because I was always you know busy working. I never really, I think, had any, you know, roles that were. Where people really care that much. I don't know. So, do you feel like being online in the social community now? Do you feel like that's helped your um, your inspiration, I guess, or the way you act? Um, you know, I think that yeah. Sometimes, actually, you know, that's what I'm, like with with the Twitter base. You know, sometimes they is it bad we, at times we, like, too though. We like, go right. back, we go back and forth with something, and then what I'll do is I'll try to do something like within the episode within one of my scenes. It is a nod to something I talked about on Twitter or something right. on Twitter. Uh, uh, you know, I always try to put something. Then, I, or I've, you know, I, you know, now it's like I kind of, I kind of interact with them through the fourth wall without right. breaking the fourth right. wall. Send mm-hmm. little hints, and and I think all of us do that. You know, Nathan will will harken, do, you know, do, do a nod to something on Firefly, or do a nod to something Generation Kill or something I've done on YouTube. So, that's cool. That's yeah. Cool. yeah. That's cool. That's real interactivity there, and that's the future of entertainment. I really, I really believe that. Yeah. I, I think that you know people want to talk to these these people that they're watching on their favorite shows and stuff, and interact with them. And I think it's a really cool opportunity to. It makes the world smaller. I it think. really yeah. does. And it, it does. And it, it well, I mean, the the Elvez video that's on my YouTube page, um, that was done in the direct response to what the audience thought about my Elvez character in one of the castle episodes. Oh, great. So I just, I went You and, took that and you just expanded yeah, I went upon, and I yeah. stole the costume from the costume department. <laughs> Did you wear these glasses? I wore those glasses right there. And, uh, <laughs> you know, they, they said they loved Elvez and they wanted to see more of him. So I, Gave him more at it because I didn't think the, I didn't know if the writers were going to do it, so I didn't. You did right. it, perfect. Yeah. All right, you guys. Well, we got to thank John for coming down today. He is a busy, busy man. You're welcome. Shane. He is super yes, busy, thank you. and I can't wait for VidCon. If you guys are going to be at VidCon, I can't wait for you to see this and uh, check it out on the YouTube's. Even if you're not going to VidCon, you can see it. John Huertas, go subscribe to him on YouTube. Yeah, my YouTube page. Follow him on please. the Twitter. We'll leave all the links right here. Clickety clack on him. Go subscribe to this man. He's going to produce and create a lot of cool things. That's what I love yeah. about you. Is that yeah, just as going through your. Videos like how does he come up with these ideas? You know, like an arm wrestling stand, and then he went and sang karaoke dressed up as Elvis and great stuff, hilarious stuff. And your buddy Justin, who films and edits these, is mm-hmm. amazing. He is. I love Justin. He's, yeah, great. he's great. He's cool. cool. Okay, well, That's check awesome. out John. Thanks for joining Thank us today. Thank Don't you, forget to download it for free on iTunes. Links below. All the links in the sink. You know how it works. From Maker Studios in Los Angeles, California. When the kids go to sleep. John Huertas, everybody, check him out. Thank you very See much. See you next time. time. When the kids go to sleep. I, was, I missed it. That's all right. That's probably better. You should probably have just done that. Okay, whatever. All right. <laughs>